So here we are going to be testing different mounts for the flight controller, for the quadcopter. Let me just give a quick overview then. So we've got this mount. These two were commercially per bought from eBay. Uh, they don't cost much, they're actually quite cheap. And these three here were all custom designed by me. This one, I wouldn't buy. It's a complete piece of junk. I wouldn't even put it on a quadcopter for free. That's how bad it is. Specifically, it's very difficult to get these grommets um, into the holes. It's very difficult. And you can see here that the, this thing has even got damaged. This blue grommet got damaged trying to get it in. Um, and, and this last one, I couldn't even get it in. I mean, it was just pointless. Also, this is very heavy. I think this is like 23 grams or something like that. This one, also I bought from eBay for roughly the same price. If you've got access to n nothing, then this is decent. It's what's available, and it does a job. It weighs around 13 grams, I think it was. 13 grams. Well, it's pretty decent. It's not great, but it's decent. Uh, the reason why I'm not actually using it is because you have to use tape, foam tape, to mount it. So you have foam tape at the bottom, foam tape at the top, and in the event that your quadcopter, say, goes in the rain or over a period of time, maybe one, two, three years, it's possible that the foam tape can come apart. That's number one. Number two, um, and if you look at with these ones, you can actually screw the, the mount into the flight controller. This one, the second reason why it's no good is, and this has happened a few times, it happened twice. What happens is, is that it's very easy for these rubber grommets here, I'm not sure I'm blue, these rubber grommets here, it's very easy for them to come off. So if you have a hard landing, it's quite possible that the rubber grommet comes off, one of them comes off, and then you take off, and then your copter behaves very erratically, and you're, you're scratching your head thinking, why is it now behaving weirdly when it was just two, three minutes ago, it was performing perfectly adequate. And I put it actually in alt hold using RD Pilot. And when one of these comes apart, the copter rockets up. And you've got the, the RC controller throttle pointing right down um, in order to come down and land. Uh, but instead, the copter keeps going up. So the only way that you can get it down is to cut the power or to go in, in, into stabilise mode, but even then the, the copter's behaving erratic. So that's the reason why I, I had to design a new part. Then came this one. This is the next part I designed. Um, this was slightly heavier than that, and one of the problems was that the vibration wasn't as great as that. The vibration of this was better. And one of the reasons, for, in fact the main reason, was because of these rubber grommets. They were too big, they were too hard, and although they hold in place, you know, so if I try and pull this, it's very, very difficult for me to pull it off. Um, there is vibration. Then came these two, and this is the one that I'm going to be running tests on. Now, these two, uh, there is, this is version 47, this is version 49. The version 48 is currently on the aircraft, on the copter, and it has performed very well. It's giving similar vibration readings to this, uh, but it's screwed in, and there is no, there is less danger of these grommets coming out of, of the plastic casing. It's just the way that I've designed it. It's a much better design. You can see that. And it's very difficult to pull, pull this out. Very difficult. I mean, if you apply enough force, it will come off, but these things, these things just, this, this mount, the grommets just come out very, very easily. Um, and, and this one is also something I want to test. Basically, it's different. These are different grommets. So these grommets are the same as these grommets. And these have already been proven to, to work very well on this one and also the, the one on my aircraft right now. But 
these grommets are new. These are ones that I haven't tested, so I built a part specifically for these grommets. Um, you can see the difference in size. So, what is that? And I think these are harder. So hang on. That's soft. This is hard. This is harder, definitely. This is harder. I'm not expecting this to perform well. I'm putting my hopes in this. Um, and in terms of weight, um, this is about 13 grams. This is roughly also around 13, 14 grams, around the same same weight. But if this one works well, then I'm going to reduce the weight. And I'm, I'm pretty hopeful I can take it down to around 10 grams or thereabouts. As I said, I still need to test this. Uh, but this is a bit more stiff. This is, I mean, I'm putting a lot of force in. This one goes all the way down quite easy. This one is, is quite stiff. And this one is very, very stiff. This is you probably stand on it and it won't go all the way down. Okay, so these are all the mounts that we're going to be testing. The aircraft that we're going to be testing these on is here. So I'll be having these mounts here underneath the Pixhawk cube. Pixhawk 2.1 cube, whatever the hell they're calling it these days. And you can see the mount that's on is the previous version, that's version 48. This is version 49. So these are the earlier version. This is the earlier version that's on there. It's more heavier. Um, and I've, as I said, I've already tested it and the results were pretty good. And so what I'll do is I'm, I'm, I'll run um, a comparison in terms of uh, results of the vibration tests. And um, I've got tests for that already done. I've got tests for that done already. I've got tests for that done already. But I've still got these two to do. Once I've done that, I'll put them up in the video. Right, so the tests have now all been completed and basically these are the test results so I'm just going to be uh, going through them with you. I thought it would be easier for me to just use a camera and just bring it close up to the screen but what I'll probably do is in the final video I'll take some screenshots so you'll get a, a, a much better, a clearer picture so here we go. Right, the first thing I did was that I flew the aircraft. And hopefully in the editing process I'll be adding a, a bit of video footage of me flying an aircraft. Using each flight controller mount. And after the flight is completed, I bring it back to my computer, download the black box, the data that we get from that particular flight, and check the... Once I've managed to extract that data, I get something like... Uh, let me see... something like this. All right. So you end up with... these are uh, vibration data. All this and more crucially you get you get this these numbers here at the top let's try that and that so you have basically a vibration x y and z um, the most difficult vibration setting that i have found is with the Z axis, that's the up and down axis, where the the flight controller experiences a lot of vibrations going up and down. But anyway, that that's that's pretty much what I find. Anyway, this is a sample result. The camera's not catching this properly, uh, but as I said, I'll put up a screenshot of what I'm actually looking at, so you'll see um, you'll see it nice and clean. Um, so once I've done that, um, I extract. Uh, the uh, the data that I have here, I take that data and then I plug it in to here. And basically I do a, a, a cut and paste job. So this is the data that we have here. Okay, so I'm just going to read it out now. So what I'll do is in the video I'll, I'll take a screenshot of that and put it up. So that way um, 
you can actually see a, a better image of it. So the first thing is uh, the black big grommets with the plastic custom mount. All the the mounts themselves I, I designed myself um, unless stated. And you'll see that the vibration, it's the mean value that I'm looking at really here. Uh, the X was uh, 3, the Y was 2, uh, but this was the killer here. Uh, the, uh, the Z was 20. So that really made it unacceptable. We couldn't really use this. I then switched to the black small grommets. Um, this was a commercial mount that you can buy from eBay. And I'll probably put up a screenshot of where you can buy this. Uh, but it's fairly cheap. It's about three or four pounds, I think four pounds delivered. Uh, so it's, you know, it's, it's decent value. And if that's all you've got access to, then I'd, I'm, I'd be very happily buy that and use that. And that got an X value of two, a Y value of three, which is very acceptable, and a Z value of five, which is perfectly acceptable. Uh, maximum of nine. So that was all right. The weight of it is pretty good as well, 12.3 grams. I think it's a decent mount. It's probably the best commercial mount that I've come across. Right, the next one was the uh, version 48 mount. This was, again, custom designed by me. And I tested this with the black small grommets. The weight was slightly higher than the commercial mount. Uh, it was about two grams heavier. So comparing these two, you can see that the X value is better with the custom mount, the Y value is better, 3 versus 2, and the Z value is also better, 2 versus 5. So the, the one that I designed was just far better, it's much improved. Then we switched over to a version 49, we switched over to a version 49, which was this one here. We're going to leave that one to last. It's this one here. And the X value is 1, the mean is 2, it's the same as that. Um, and the Z value, again, is 2, which is the same as, uh, as, uh, as this one here. So basically, these values were brilliant. And I'm happy to use that. And also, I managed to get the weight of the part down to 12.77 grams, which is now pretty much in line with the commercial mount. Only we get better vibration dampening. Uh, the, finally we tested another version 49 which I did. Uh, this is like an alternative using the wider grommets but the values weren't so great. Um, they were good, they were pretty much better than anything else that's out there but they weren't quite as good as this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a picture of the version which won this super test, as it were. Uh, but I will also leave a link or a screenshot of where you can buy the commercial mount. Because obviously a lot of you don't have access to 3D printing, so you just prefer to buy from eBay, which is fine. Okay, so that, that's good because now we've now made a step forward. From here on in, we're going to be using the, the new mount. It's performing great and we can move on uh, further.